who skis off of rocks with a zip line. No one. It's not really tested and approved, but. Ready to go? Countdown? Yep. All right. Steve back up. What most people don't realize with a lot of the videos is a lot of the stunts that we do in, in my videos is it's usually trial and error. Which kind of sounds sketchy, yes. But the good thing is we always take safety precautions. And especially with this video is Dan at Blue House Skis. They're, they're an awesome ski company. He had seen someone kind of execute this, this idea before as far as going down with skis. So originally this idea comes from high school friends back in 1999, East High, Salt Lake City, Utah. And we basically took that idea and we tried to figure out what can we do to kind of up the ante and make it even bigger and better. And that's when we decide, hey, let's try it with two people on the zip line and, and see what happens. Uh, we never really seen anyone do anything like that before, so we thought we'd give it a try. And when we did it the first time, Seth, who was kind of the guinea pig, he was the one who went down second. Not the first person in front, but the person in back. And what happened is after the person in front let go of the zip line, it launched the second guy, Seth, way up in the air, completely unexpected, and I was filming right next to him in a boat, and honestly, I was afraid the guy was gonna fly and land in the boat, just because he flew so far, and it was completely unexpected. But it was kind of like, after he landed that, it was just like this huge kind of discovery for us, like we'd kind of invented this new sport, even though it really wasn't a sport. You've seen people do zip lines, but not launch another person up in the air like a catapult. And did it hurt? Didn't hurt at all, it was a good day. Now one of my friends, that was there, Crane, he's been in actually several of my videos, a rope swing being one of the first ones. He is huge into physics, and he wanted to know what would happen to a human body if it were to go down a rope and hit a knot. And we had a, a knot because we had to stitch the ropes together halfway down the zip line. So he did a little experiment himself, and he tested it on himself. So he gave it a shot, and we all found out what happened. As far as the video itself, it's a pretty simple video. We, we had two days in Lake Powell. My friends at Blue House Ski Company, they're the ones that, that sponsored it. So they provided all the gear, they provided the houseboat. It was just awesome working with them. And Dan is one of the owners of Blue House Skis. Why should we buy your skis over other people? We sell direct online. Our prices are half of what you pay in retail stores. Same materials, same construction, wholesale prices to everyone. Great skis. Sounds good, so if you're a skier, buy it. And then any Woo. final words? Final words? Freaking awesome, love this. I'm gonna put down below in the description a link to their website, so if you're looking for awesome skis, I would strongly suggest it. Can't say I never warn you guys. Check out the main video again, and yeah, thanks for watching.